to your welcome. Hope you guys are uh, feeling good. My name is Bukumi Pikekran. So, Moses Jesus Muhammad are won by Ahmed Didat. Among the seven religions, of course, there will be Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Mm. The last three, the seven religions, they, from the Muslim point of view, they have a common origin. And we in Islam, we do not really think that these three are different. According to the Muslim belief, there is no such thing as Judaism really? and there is no such thing as Christianity. Ah. We term them all Islam, meaning the teachings of Moses, Jesus ah. and Muhammad, yes. we say was Islam. Oh. And the, oh, the profoundest, Moses, Jesus and, and Muhammad, they were Muslim. Now, when the question arises, what do you think of Judaism? Is it a, a concoction? What do you think of Christianity? It, it doesn't exist. We say, no, what it means is this, that we believe that the teaching of these three great personalities, Moses, Jesus, and Muhammad, were one, and the terms Judaism or Christianity, the terms didn't exist in the lifetime of the people, you know, who are supposed to have performed in the space. For example, if Moses was alive with us today, and if we question him, if we go, say, oh Moses, what is your religion? Mm. I personally do not expect him to say that my religion is Judaism. Yeah. Because this is a term which Moses never heard. This word Judaism, is not in the Old Testament, or the Torah, or the Jews, or the Talmud, or the Mishnah. It is not to be found anywhere. Now, how does this word come from? Where does the term, the term Judaism come from? I believe that when the Jews, when they conquered Palestine, Palestine was divided among the tribes. Each tribe occupied a certain specific area. And the children of Judea, Judah, the eldest son of Jacob, the area which he occupied was known as Judea. And the people from the outside, they said, or they described, that the children, the religion of the children of Judah in Judea is Judaism. And this time, the Jews seem to have taken a liking to it and they accepted it. But, search for it. Old Testament, the word is not there. The whole of the Old Testament. Especially in the Torah, it's not there. In the Mishnah, it's not there. In the Talmud, it's not there. This is how the word is. But Moses, we expect him to say that my religion is a religion of total submission to the will of God, which is a very lengthy but beautiful definition of what he was out to do to preach the religion of God. A religion of brutal submission to God's will. One word for that in the Arabic language is Islam. When we come to Christianity, the same principles apply. That Jesus Christ, in his lifetime, he didn't hear the word Christianity. Nor did he say other questions. <coughs> if he was with us today in his second coming, and if we could have the privilege of questioning him, said, Oh Jesus, what is your religion? I do not expect him to say Christianity, because if he did, I might ask him further, what church do you belong to? Uh, Are you a Roman Catholic, or a Dutch Reformed Church, or a Southern Day Adventist, or a Jehovah's Witness? What Christianity do you belong to? So in other words, I expect Jesus to say that my religion is a religion of total submission to God's will. And one word for that in the Arabic language is Islam. Islam, the word Islam comes from the word Salam. Salam means peace, literally. In its religious connotation, Islam means a religion of total submission to the will of God. And the one who submits to such a system is called a Muslim. Again, the root word comes from Salama, to submit, 
peace achieve peace by submitting to a higher authority and we who follow the religion of Islam we say we are Muslims meaning we have submitted our will to the will of God whatever he wants us to do we are prepared to do he said according to the information we have received through Muhammad that we shall not worship any other God but Allah so we say we accept we are told that we must accept Muhammad as the messenger of God, so we accept. So we must have that alcohol, we will not. So we can't eat pigs, so no, we won't eat it. So don't gamble, so we won't gamble. We will not fast for one whole month, so that we will fast. Everything that we are told, we say, we claim that we submit. And one word for that is Muslim means one who has submitted. So we say Muhammad was a Muslim, we are Muslim. Jesus was a Muslim, in the Quran discussion, the disciples were Muslim. Meaning they submitted the will to the will of God. Muslim doesn't mean the follower of Muhammad. It means one who is submitted. In the garden, if you remember, garden of Gethsemane, Jesus Christ, he cried to his Lord and he said, O my Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass away from me, but not as I will, but as thou wilt. Now that, not as I will, but as thou wilt. One word for that would be Muslim. He submitted. Whatever God wants him to do, he is prepared to go through with it. So, we say, Moses was a Muslim, Jesus was a Muslim, Muhammad was a Muslim, Abraham, Abraham was a Muslim. Anyone who submits his will to the will of God is a Muslim. And the religion which they all follow is Islam. Hmm. Wow, powerful. I love the breakdown. I love his breakdown on this issue. You know, he first started with that statement, Moses, Jesus, and Muhammad are one. So, and he said there's nothing like Judaism, there's nothing like Christianity. The only religion that I believe is there and is true and is real is Islam. Well, to me, I, I was shocked because that statement is questionable. Yes, it's questionable. But the way I kind of understand these three names say eh? why he was explaining something came to my mind i was like oh what if jesus goes for christianity Muhammad goes for islam so moses for judaism and <laughs> christianity for jesus Muhammad for islam that was what was coming to my mind when he said moses jesus and Muhammad are one i was like whoo that was a beautiful one i love his explanation and the one thing i got from this video was when he said total submission because all these prophets, all these people God used in the Bible, submitted to the will of God. They always, you know, put everything into the hands of God. And you know, the meaning of Islam is submission to the will of God. So that is the reason why it is believed that Moses, Jesus are also Muslims. He made mention of Abraham. So it's just like everybody that submitted to the will of God, in the bible they refer to them as islam so if you do something according to the will of god you 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 believe that it's not by your strength but it's through god you are able to do the work of god then it's called islam like you know the meaning of islam is total submission to god so even my mention of jesus when jesus was on the cross even though he didn't mention the fact that he was on the cross you know, in Islam, they don't believe that Jesus was crucified. So he just said, the moment Jesus, there was a time that Jesus said, not my will, but your will, let this cup pass over me. But that was doing when Jesus was on the cross. He made such statement. So he was totally submitting everything, his life, everything about him to God. So indirectly, you know, they are all Muslims. That's the reason why they claim that these prophets of God are Muslims. That's just why they say that Moses, Jesus, you know, Abraham, you know, Noah, all those people God used in the Bible, David, they all believe that they are Muslims because they all submitted to the will of God. That was a powerful one. I really enjoyed it. Let me know your point of view on this matter. Let's keep this discussion going, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more. Like, share, comment. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.